Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm working on my background basic 16 layout. This is the collaboration that I do with my lovely scrapbooking friend Moira O'Reilly on the 16th of each month. We use the hashtag background basic 16 and you'll find us both on YouTube and Instagram and links will be below in, in the description box. So the idea is that we use our tools to create our backgrounds for one layout a month. So you know stamps, stencils, die cuts, punches, paintbrushes, pens, pencils, what anything at all, you know, just get us using our tools and just to create sort of like our own pattern paper. Embellishments are highly encouraged and allowed, um, st alphas and, uh, you know, any kind of embellishments. Um, so yeah, so this layout today is going to be a framed layout. I've got white texture cardstock here and this kind of like purple-ish colour um, texture cardstock and I've sort of framed that layout. These are two photos here of Mike Holloway. So he's currently touring in Dreamcoat Stars and he um, played Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technical of Dreamcoat many years ago. He was the first person that I saw to appear as Joseph. And uh, yeah, fond memories of that time and saw him again recently this year in Dreamcoat Stars. So I'm just documenting the fact that, um, yeah, for all these years I've, I've seen, seen him again in the show connected to Joseph as well. So I've got two silver stars here, wood silver stars, they're recent acquisitions. These are those Etsy stickers that I purchased recently, musical theatre themed, some gems here. I've got my ink pads here, stamps, Ellie Studio, my star stamp set. I've got some um, Deep Rose Sea and Winter Charm Spiegel Mom Scraps um, sequins. I've got main character energy Chamel alpha stamp set there and I've got some stars here. Lots of little planner type star stamps as well as the ones from that Ellie Studio set. So my idea is to have the photos quite central and then um, embellishments top left to bottom right which is something I quite like to do and um, I'm going to think I'm going to frame the photos with some star stamping. So the first thing I need to do is get the photos onto the page because I really do want to work around those and I think the title is going to go above the photos but I'm going to do the stamping first because um, I want to, yeah, I want it to just flow, all, I want it to frame the photos and then I, the actual alphas will go on top of some of the stamping which is what I intend to, this, that's my intention. I think I'm going to pop these sort of a little bit skewy. So Mike's looking this way in this photo and this way in this photo. So I think I'm just going to have him looking out, you know, the side of the layout, which, you know, we, we don't always do, but I think it looks better on this layout to do it that way. I think the, it just looks better to me anyway. Now then, how do I want these to go? I think I want them to go like that and I'm going to overlap them slightly so I took these photos I was on the front row mum and I went to see the show here on the Isle of Wight it's amazing that it came to the island really happy about that we were and uh, yeah it's back in April now then that's not quite centered is it not not centered but um, I'd like a similar gap on either side <laughs> of the photo so I should probably should have layered the photos together first and then my other idea is to maybe have a little bit journaling here literally just a very brief bit of the journaling saying that I'd seen um, it was you know amazing to see Mike in a show again that is slightly lower than there but the title is going to go here so I think it'd be fine now then I've got distress ink in dusty concord you can see that I've got distress ink in that one whatever that is and then I've got an encore metallic silver ink pad so I thought I'd go with the colors from the stage light in here and uh, which is these two and then a little bit of silver because the actual fr frame here the stage sort of frame that they they kind of ran up and down during the show is um, silver or metal so I like this stamp here can you see that it's got the little stars on it so I'm going to use that and put all the other ones on top of my little um, block there so I'm going to have to take those off now then so I'm do this random it's a distress ink so it's um, 
you know, it doesn't um, give a crisp image. It's fine. I'm thinking, I'm not really liking <laughs> the fact <laughs> that, yeah, we've got ink pressing onto the page here, which is not a good look. And why is it doing that? This, come, this came from that early studio ink um, stamp set, so it's a good quality ink, it's a good quality set. It's not um, you know cheap one. Let's have another go and see what happens. Uh, it's me not stamping properly. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Hmm. I think it's just not an easy stamp to use. I think it takes it needs a very light touch <laughs> that's not what I was doing I do always test my stamps before using them to see what kind of touch they need but um, yeah I didn't realize that that was doing that but I'm wondering whether I'm just gonna go with it I couldn't see it very well <laughs> and I thought those little blobs were stars but they're not Right, we've got the other colour now. I'm just going to see if I can, uh, I don't know, pull it off. <sighs> I'm liking the look of it. Even though, you know, they don't all look like stars. <laughs> Some of them look like little... Plodders. It could be a lighting effect, lighting effect, could it? <laughs> oh. Right, hmm. I'm going to keep going for the moment and see what we think. I don't want to have to start it all again. Let's see what the silver looks like, because this is a pigment ink. And they're like even a very soft, usually very soft um, stamp sets, which gets more ink, you know, you get more ink on the actual stamp itself. Or, you know, you're more likely to get it in between the image if you press it down too much. Oh, like that. <laughs> oh, man. Well. Oh. Liking the silver though, and I think I might want to add a little bit in this corner here. Don't frame it even more like that. What I should have done was move on to using um, individual stamps. But I think I do need to fill like fill in fill in the gaps first of all with this one. I'm going to purse I am going to carry on even though. It's not exactly quite how I intended it to look. I'm going to carry on because, um, yeah, I don't want to start it again. <laughs> A little bit more of the purple one I think we need on this layout. Pretty sure I've just got a little bit of silver on that um, ink pad, which is not, not a good thing to do. I'm not um I'm I'm not intentionally laying the stamp down in any particular way, I'm just doing it like random with just the three colours in you know, not not in not not in a set pattern. Yeah. I like I do actually like that, even though, you know, quite a few of the stars don't look don't look great. <laughs> we shall persevere for the moment and see. <laughs> Now I was tending to put these like this and then the title here. So we'll do the title because that sets the stage for everything else really. Once that's in place then I can see what uh, I want to, how I want to work around that with the extra embellishing. I've got those two black stickers as well and the gems and the sequins. Do 
trying to get this backing off of this uh, alpha here it's proven to be quite tricky they're very well um, stuck to the backing these alphas the foam ones from Chamel main character energy just oh, beautiful absolutely beautiful love them three packets of course which is what I normally do with alphas and I'm hoping that they'll last me for a long time and although this colour is probably not one that I'd use that often it does really fit in well with this um, this colour scheme here and also I've already done a layout for Chester my dog and he um, his collar and lead and everything are all um, in like a purple collar so I'm sure I'll be using them on his layouts <laughs> I think I'm going to do this, just finish this and come back to you. Okay, so that's the title placed down and um, now we're on to a little bit more embellishing. Um, now then, I've got this large star here. I also mustn't forget those um, lovely little stickers. Now then, how do I want those to go? I want the star in the corner, the top corner like that, and then maybe the writing like that. And then let's add another star, shall we? Now then, what colour shall we go with? I think I'm going to go with the Dusty Concord. The other one is Blue Print Print Sketch. I can just read that now. So, hmm, do we want to just do that off sli offset slightly? Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Do another one here that and, um, then set this one kind of into the point you know so there's a point going into the V section there now then I think I want to do another star in the blue colour smaller one Oof. whoops getting that on my desk there now this is an outline star, so slightly different. This one's got a stitched effect to it. This one's like an outline, which I like very much. Get this glued down. I've been away for a week and um, yeah, I'm a little bit out of practice with my scrapbooking <laughs> and doing videos. So. I'm doing this on Sunday and it is due to go live on Monday so I need to get it done today and uh, get it uploaded so I need to um, you know get it done even though I feel a bit rusty right, I'm going to stick this piece down here stand up to do that I think so if you don't know Joseph the musical then these are you know close every door is a song and from the musical and lyrics there they are white stickers I'm sticking them onto a textured background they're white flat white stickers and i'm sticking them onto a white textured background but they look fine now then i'm wondering whether i need some more stars here there is more of a gap here than there is here journaling i might even just try and nestle it into this little bit here underneath the photo before you get to the stars I've got these um, sequins and they, they've got like little white stars in them. But I'm actually thinking now that I actually really like this just as it is. <laughs> so um, I don't think I'm going to add sequins to it. I've got my Uniball pens here. I've got the two different colours here. And I've got, uh, not decided which one to use yet. Mm, yeah, can't decide. Not sure what the colours are. If it says it on there. They came in a pack of five. Blue and violet. That's violet. So this is more of a violet colour, isn't it? Um, hmm, I'm thinking it needs something here. 
maybe a small star stamp that I've got here. I've got quite a few here. Um, this one here. That's, is that an outline one? I'm thinking maybe not an outline one. We'll have a go, shall we? Could do it. Could I do it in silver, do you think? I'll just test that over there. It's lots of stars on the other on the packet, the early studio packet, but um, they're too big. I don't want them that big. And I'll just drop that on there and I think I've got a little bit of silver on there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've got ink all over my fingers as well. Hmm. Maybe I could use a smaller one here, but it is an outline one. What's this one? Is that the star? Oh yeah, it's like a little starburst, tiny starburst. Ink all over my fingers. <laughs> now I'm really worried about dropping ink, dropping stamps onto the layout and making it look terrible. That's got a, li a little bit of over stamp in there. Um, actually, I think I like this layout just as it is. And I'm thinking blue pen here now, for contrast to the colour here. Blue pen. Because we've got the violet, the violet, the blue, and I think the blue will look nice here. So, I think I'm going to leave it at this. Leave it as it is. Do the writing, and then take the photos and we'll be finished. So, um, I'm not sure what Moira's doing for her layout. I'm sure it'll be amazing whatever she does. Um, yeah, mine was just going to be all stars today because it's the show that Mike's in is called Dreamcoat Stars, and they're all all the people in it have appeared in Joseph, um, the musical. Um, uh, you know, in, in they've played Joseph or there's, they've played other roles like the narrator, and they have guest stars as well. So um, yeah, the stars are really appropriate. I don't think I'm going to add anything else to it. I think I'm just going to leave it as it is, journaling, and then we're finished. So all stamping today. Um, stamping frame for the photos and stamps top left bottom right which I like to do and then I have got the star embellishments here the alphabet here and those lovely stickers that uh, came from Etsy so um, yeah pop on over and see what Moira has been doing have a look at the hashtag on Instagram if you want to background basic 16 and uh, once again thank you for joining me stay safe take care and I shall see you next time